The OnePlus 7 Pro is the last major flagship to launch before the big summer smartphone break and with all new smartphones in hand, we knew it was time for our ultimate camera comparison of 2019 or at least the first half of the year. So let's get started and take a look at the differences with photo number one. On this photo you can see me launched on a chair by the beach and enjoying the view, perfect follow opportunity. Starting with the OnePlus, this photo looks fine on it, but you can instantly, instantly see that colors look a bit pale and slightly washed out. Now next up, the iPhone has much more vibrant and lively colors and a much more shareable look. Now the Galaxy does a good job Here's the pictures from the Galaxy. The Galaxy does a good job with a balanced look and good exposure, but the image is just not as catchy as the one from the iPhone right here. And finally, the Pixel, on the other hand, underexposes the image, so it looks way darker than it should. So we deduct some points for that. And lastly, the Huawei P30 Pro has some weird colors and a yellow tonality that don't look quite as good as the rest. Keep in mind that you can take a closer look at these images and read more detailed analysis over at our website. And if you want to improve your photography or video editing skills, you should know about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in photography, video editing, technology, design, business and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on the topics you must know about so you can improve your skills. Jordan here on the team has actually been using Skillshare a lot. He's done courses on Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects and Photoshop and he has quickly mastered those programs bringing big improvements to his workflow. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there with annual subscriptions available at less than $10 a month and the first 500 of you to use the promo link in the description right below will get your first two months for free so go ahead and check it out. And what we will check out right now is another daylight photo. All of the phones here do a decent job with slight differences so let's take a look at photo number two the original files starting with the image from the OnePlus. Now the, the strange thing here is the image from the Samsung Galaxy which has strangely flattened the, the photo so that you cannot see the contrast between the cloudy and the sunlit part right in the middle as you can see on the other picture and these are not just different conditions this is the way the picture was shot. the phone does the same flattening in the next shot too which is really bizarre so let's take a look at the next shot shot number three original files and you can see once again very flat image on the Samsung and much more dynamic image on the other phones on this next shot you can also see that the pixel takes a way too dark picture and it loses a lot of the detail here in the trees on the sides Picture number four is full of greenery and it's a perfect illustration of how these phones render color. The OnePlus looks okay, but again you see those washed out colors, they do not catch the eye at all. The iPhone does a better job here with uh, a bit too bright of an exposure, but it is the Galaxy that shows all different shades of green, the beautiful blue skies and it has plentiful detail so it gets the best score here. Now the Pixel I skip to the pixel has this image with much colder colors and it's noticeably darker too and finally the Huawei P30 Pro colors just look strange it's the only phone which makes the sky looks yellow and the whole image kind of looks yellowy we have one more shot let's skip to shot number five Next up we jump to the low light pictures. 
Right off the bat, you see that the OnePlus captures an average photo. It looks a bit blurry and highlights are a bit blown out. And then the iPhone, well, it just looks too dark. Not a great look and definitely not an image you want to share. And then the Galaxy, skip to the Galaxy. The Galaxy does a good job, but colors look just too saturated and definitely not realistic. The Pixel, the Pixel strikes the best balance between uh, a good dynamic range, good amount of detail. And finally, the Huawei exposes the person, but the background appears a bit blurry and doesn't have that much detail. Not bad, but not quite great either. You'll see those patterns repeat in the next images, the image with the buildings right here, number seven. Next up with the bank building, you can see that the pixel brings out a ton of detail and detail from the shadows and it clearly looks the most impressive of the bunch. Now the secrets bar photo is a photo that looks quite similar on all phones but if you look closer you'll see a few important differences and interestingly here the iPhone is able to pull out a good amount of detail and ranks close to the pixel. This last photo of our bar hopping photo tour, you can see that the OnePlus captured a barely usable image with a lot of noise. So let's skip to the last image, number 10 on the OnePlus. See it captured a barely usable image with a lot of noise. And then the iPhone uh, captured a pretty much useless photo that is just too dark. And the Galaxy was decent. And it was really the, the it was really the Google Pixel that once again impressed us with its ability to capture color and light at night when no other phone could. The Huawei P30 Pro here did just average, nowhere nearly as good as the Pixel. Now with all this in mind, we have placed some scores based on a small jury of four photo enthusiasts that we have gathered and that have looked at all of these photos without knowing the brands to avoid any bias. The big winner here is the Pixel 3 and that is more mostly because of the excellent low light performance that others can't quite match just yet. During the day it has its own share of issues, the biggest of which is that it underexposes photos and makes them darker than you'd like. The Galaxy S10 Plus ranks second and it performs well in all sorts of different conditions and we found it to be mostly a very reliable camera with excellent colors. The iPhone XS Max ranked at number 3 with a great showing during the day but with photos that were often barely usable at night. The Huawei P30 Pro ranked at number 4. The big issue with the Huawei phone is questionable color science as practically all images from the phone have a yellow tint and this is the only phone that could never get the blue color of the sky right. And finally at the last place in this comparison we have the OnePlus 7 Pro. With three cameras on the back, this phone is versatile, but if you look at the main camera, what we did here, you'll see that colors are a bit bleak and images look a bit washed out. They're not bad, they just don't impress much. Of course, this comparison does not look at telephoto cameras, portrait mode, selfies and so much more, which is definitely something that you can find on our website at www.phonearena.com. But with this in mind, which phone did you like best? in this comparison. Let me know in the comments, let me know what you want to see us test next. My name is Vic, it was my pleasure talking to you and I'll talk to you in the next one.